Hi guys, so this week's Photoshop video, I want to show you this option in Photoshop, which is kind of hidden from us. Um, well, it's not really hidden because it's, it is there, we just don't tend to see it or find it. And um, there was no kind of, it was never brought up on the website that this was added in, and I've only just found out that it's even in here. So there's probably a good chance that you guys have already seen this, and if you have, then you can click off the video or whatever. But if you haven't, then I can imagine this video will be extremely useful. So what I'm going to be showing you is that in Photoshop's gradient options, you could, there's actually a ton of split toning options to simulate a darkroom effect on your photos. Now, I didn't know this, and not many other people did either. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you access them. So you go onto your adjustments and your gradient map, and then double click on the actual little gradient here. And then on the little settings cog, there's photographic toning. There's also other stuff as well, like special effects, spectrums, metals, pastels, and stuff like that. But we're going to focus on the photographic toning. So what you've got here is a ton of new kind of gradients, which you can add to your photo. So we'll just click through some of them so you can see. So what they do is they add real nice kind of a, a nice split toning kind of gradient onto your image, which actually does look really nice. And obviously you can lower the opacity of this effect and make it not as sharp and not as, you know, bright and vivid as you'd want necessarily but what it can do is simulate some really nice effects and my personal favorite I think we'll come across it in a second I'll point it out when we get there is this one which is a really nice kind of um, it's got really nice complementary colors which looks really good but I'll just show you once that's done so you've got all these different settings actually that one's quite nice I'll put this one on I'll press OK, and then obviously if you want to, you can lower the opacity and still give it that nice kind of bluey kind of feel. And obviously, the, the you could probably simulate this by going on your colour balance, but the gradient is still different. See, whereas if I just put a blue layer above the image, say, if I took this, this blue, made it a little lighter, and just added a gradient over it, and then put it on overlay. So you don't get that same effect. Even if I put it on normal, you still don't get that same effect. It washes out the colours. Whereas with the gradient map, you keep all your, your details and your colours and it just adds the colour over. Does that make sense? So, I mean, there's a ton to choose from, as I said before. And you can real, really fiddle about and you know with your photography, which could potentially look really, really great. Um, that's a really nice one as well, and obviously if you want to simulate a kind of split turning effect, it's always nice to go onto your filters, add a little bit of noise, and that to me looks really, really nice. So, I hope this video has been useful, and maybe, you know, you might fiddle around with some other settings now on different options and see what else there's hidden. Um, if you like the video, then subscribe and like, and also, if you'd like more, fo more regular Photoshop, tutorials or videos or speed outs or whatever just comment in the section below just telling me you'd like some so i know that you want me to upload more regularly some photoshop content and i will do my best to do that for you so thanks for watching guys again as always follow me on twitter for updates and subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks for watching guys